Hello guys and welcome to another unboxing and review. Today we have with us the Cubot Note 7. I got this from their testers program. So I won the chance to test out their Note 7. At the back we have some of the specs. As you can see. The size of the phone is 5.5 inches. It has a water drop screen, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage. It uses a MediaTek processor, the MT6737. It has three cameras, a 13 megapixel, a 0.3 megapixel, and a 0.3 megapixel. It has 8 megapixel in the front. It charges with USB. It has a 3100 mAh battery and it's equipped with Android 10. Let's have a look at what comes inside of the box. I have already set up the phone to save time. So that's the device. Let's put it to the side. Next we have a booklet. Thank you. Under that, we have our micro USB cable, so sad that we don't have type C. Our charging brick, if I can get a focus here. As you can see, it's not the fastest, it only has 5 volt output and 1, one amp. It's a 5 watts charger. With that we have manufacturer information, compliance regulation, and our quick start guide. So that's it for what comes inside of the box. Let's put them to the side. And have a look at our device. I got it in this red color. But there's also the other colors as you can see there on the screen. It comes in this TPU case. It's nice to see that they included a case because it will be very hard to get one. I really love this red color. It has this texture to it very nice as you can see our triple camera setup and a flash at the top we have our charging port our 3.5 millimeter audio jack at the right we have our volume marker and the power button at the bottom we have our speaker, our main speaker, and for audio. At the right we have nothing. Also it is a removable black phone. So you can do like this. There we have our 3100 mAh battery. It houses two sims and a micro SD card stuck. In the front we have our water job screen and a notification LED light. It's good to see that they put this at this price range so other manufacturers be mindful of this. Alright, that's how the screen looks. Look at that. I must say it has wonderful green angles, although it's just a 720p screen. 
If you can unload, are very awesome. You can read any style and look just as great. The screen gets very bright. Also for outdoors. It's not the brightest, but it's still usable outdoors. I run a benchmark on this, so let's take a look at our scores. And I must say it's not the very best score. Our single four score is 88 and our multiple score is 289. Not the very best. I must say it feels very snappy for two giga from phone. It's not the slowest. And here my internet. I have full bars. It you can easily game on this phone as well. I have here asphalt and mortal command. So although it has two gigs of RAM, you can still game on it. It's a little while to get started. I have to, I have to say that I haven't experienced any scripts in Stalker. It has been just smooth clean. It hasn't stuttered at all. So it handles game pretty well. It hasn't stuttered at all. So it handles game pretty well. So whatever you that did to this Android 10, to this phone in general, you did a very good job. Look at my child, because I want to see it.
Cuba Road 7 I must say it's a very good device for the price Cuba you all did a wonderful job with this and I would recommend this phone the battery life has been great as well I have eight seven to eight hours of screen on time which I've been playing game most of that time so it is holding up pretty well the battery so that's it for review this is affordable tech thanks for watching peace out this is a test video with the front face and camera This is a video sample of the rear camera.